a change in focus. The Otago District Health Board is switching its mental health care service to become more community orientated. Over the past three years, they have been unable to recruit enough staff for current services. They are planning a major revamp, spending $1.7 million on Otago's current mental health care system. The key issue we've determined is to get additional clinical resources out into the community, particularly into those community organisations that provide, for example, residential accommodation, so that people can be better cared for and, uh, in those environments, and that will take some of the pressure in the medium term off our hospital beds. Currently not enough funding exists to meet demand in nurses or specialists in the mental health field. Much of the new funding will go towards creating community care for patients currently in hospital as well as respite care. This is quite a significant cash injection into that area. We don't currently fund these organisations to provide those levels of clinical care and therefore if it happens, it happens by good luck rather than good management. We want it to happen by good management and that's why we're putting the funding into it. The move is the beginning of a wide-ranging government review of mental health. This part of it's an immediate plan. We, if we don't do this first, we won't be able to do a lot else. We've got to do this first because the only way we get money to do other things is by taking it out of those long-stay beds, um, those over-utilised hospital beds, so that we can actually um, use that money to fund um, a whole range of other things. Well, the Health Board haven't released details. They say plans are already well advanced. Geoff Yorston, no, Local News.